Hello, and welcome to Buffalo Stringworks virtual concert in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. My name is Yuki Numata Resnick, and I'm the executive director of Buffalo Stringworks. If you are our most avid fan, you know that our last virtual concert was merely two months ago in November 2020, and yet our teaching artists, volunteer assistants, and of course, our students have worked incredibly hard to be ready for today. As educators working with young people, we believe so strongly in our responsibility to offer our students every possible opportunity to grow into informed, creative, and resilient leaders. Today's concert not only gave us the chance to weave Black history into our music classrooms, but also gave us the chance to diversify our repertoire. Most of the music you'll hear today is written by Black composers. You'll hear music that honors the Black and African American traditions, from Duke Ellington's Sea Jam Blues to Lift Every Voice and Sing, the song that has now become the Black National Anthem. To be honest, for us adults in the room, this was a humbling and learning experience for us, and we are committed to learning and growing alongside our students. Today's concert opens with a description and a segment on the origins of this very t-shirt designed by BSW students. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you at the end. During summer, we worked on a t-shirt project about Black Lives Matter. Two teachers, Mr. Sherman and Mr. Justin, helped us with the background behind BLM and the design process. Since you guys were with us, we want to tell you all about it. Black Lives Matter doesn't mean just Black Lives Matter. It means that everyone matters, but right now, Black lives are in danger. Other people can walk down the street and not fear for their lives, but Black people can't do that. The fist means power to the people. It means inspiration that you can do anything. There are different processes of ways to make a shirt. It took us one week to create this design. Mr. Sherman talked about what BLM means and the ideas and other concepts surrounding it. We talked about the history of African Americans. Mr. Johnston was a graphic designer. He helped us with the letters, the words, and different fonts, and how to combine it. Although this one changed racism entirely, we hope that you guys can learn from it too or get something out of it. So I think the song "We Shall Overcome" is like it's like talking about how they're um, people are uh, they're gonna be able to overcome these challenges and like they can like come like they, they can go through the obstacles you know. So the word "some" like someday is talking about how like even though like we're like in hard times right now like one day it's gonna be over. We shall I do believe that 
that we shall overcome some days. Thank you. 
by Jeff Neighbor based on the music of Jimi Hendrix. BSW class. Today, me and my class are going to play the boy with the axes in his hands from Thomas Blind Tom Wiggins. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
the last piece of our program today, we will listen to an arrangement of Sometimes I Feel Like a Motherless Child. This piece is a Negro spiritual, which was a song written to express the tribulations of slaves that were stripped away from their families during the slave trade. We sing these songs in remembrance of our ancestors' struggles for freedom and to honor those like Martin Luther King, who fought so hard for civil liberties and equality. This selection will be performed by double bass students, Anetha, Clementine, Mole, and by their private teacher, Miss Joy. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us in honor of our, one of our country's greatest leaders, Martin Luther King Jr. Thank you to our teaching faculty and our staff, and of course, our students and families for their perseverance in showing up every single day to make music together. Thank you to you, our cheerleader. Without you, without knowing that you're out there soaking up every moment of our students' music, our work wouldn't mean quite as much. Thank you for believing in the transformative power of music. And finally, an enormous thank you to today's concert sponsor, Kingston Technology. I hope you'll stay tuned with us. We have lots more planned for 2021, including a very exciting annual benefit concert, which this year will be held virtually. We can't wait to see you, and thank you so much for supporting Buffalo Stringworks.